Hello and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And we're back to look at another slide. This one is just another ALL. <laughs> just another ALL. Um, yeah. We're laughing because we were thinking about what to call it. And <laughs> that's how creative we are. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, I mean... I think they know that with those like a, <laughs> we don't have very creative titles or <laughs> not particularly but um yeah so um and we, and we kind of like uh, I don't want to say handpick this field but um this is a this is a decent field and so I would hope uh that the um user would notice that there's not a lot of red cells <laughs> first but of all I think that's more striking than the nucleated cell in the picture. I know, yeah. It was like sitting there looking at a cancer cell, and it's like, where's the red cell? <laughs> this is like a profound anemia. Yeah. Yeah. So we 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 have talked about in ALL how in acute leukemia is usually the patients present with anemia and thrombocytopenia. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily this anemic and thrombocytopenic. Yeah. I would love to see like this person's probably got no color cyanosis, you know, um, yeah, and no platelets at nope. least in this field. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll play the find the platelet game, and then red cell morph a uh, little bit of morphology. It's like um, teardrop looking fella on the bottom, and then uh, perhaps some cystocytes and uh and stuff too so there might be yeah yeah and, we'll... and it'll be interesting to see if these cells are microcytic or normocytic mm, yeah well, I, I good luck evaluating that so this is where <laughs> i always hate evaluating macro micro in the scope as it mm -hmm. is um this is where i'd leave that job to the analyzer like 100 percent but you can't tell compared to this cell because this is an abnormal cell. Right. It's an abnormal cell. Exactly. But even if we had a normal lymph, if we have that luxury of a normal lymph, it's just the concentration. Once the blood is this um, uh, not cellular, I guess is the term I'm looking for. It's it's there's a lot of things finding an area and all that stuff um, and evaluating volume is going to be really it's going to suffer. Well, well, we can reference if you want to know how to find a good area in <laughs> a really, really anemic patient, you can watch our how to find a good area breaking the rules video. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, and that's a good, it's a good general guide and uh, it'll find you your area. Um, but st making a volume assessment like this is just yeah. really, really difficult. So, uh, so we talked enough about red cells and platelets or lack of those um and we do have a nucleated cell yeah and it's probably representative of our cancer cells uh okay. looks like to me yep so our blasts yeah this is a this is what our blast we are going to expect our blast to look like not a lot of cytoplasm that's visible and um like lo a lobed lymph is kind of like maybe how you might thing to describe this yeah this one's interesting like we don't really see quite the prominent nucleoli like there might be one in here but it's hard to tell because it looks like there's a distinct lobe sort of like going through it yep. so it's like there's little clefts in here but they're also lobulated and it's a, it's a strange looking blast because you don't typically see lobulated blasts to begin with right but especially in lymphocytic leukemias yeah yeah so it's likely just due to the nuclear membrane being you know all messed up from being cancer cell and all that but we'll have to uh to see what kind of pattern develops yeah the white cells all right let's see what we find let's we'll start our scan <clears throat> mm. well Ooh. is that a normal lymph that's a normal lymph I'm like, geez, let's see if we're lucky enough to find a normal lymph. <laughs> so on the left-hand side uh, of the screen here, it's just a normal resting lymph. So yeah, I, I guess, you know, if you forced me to make a call, I'd say it's probably a little microcytic. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe a lot microcytic. 
but you know, I would still def- I always give deference to the MCV from the uh, the analyzer, but um, beautiful comparison. And then we can see all the weird abnormalities in the cell on the right, um, yep. sort of consistent with the other lymphoblast we uh, we saw. Yeah, abnormal lobulation. This one has really scanty amount of cytoplasm. <laughs> yeah, good luck, right? Yeah. And there's like little like like what, vacuoles or something where there maybe would have been some stained cytoplasm, but there's yeah, like I think it really is just like the 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 cytoplasmic membrane does cover it. It's mm-hmm. just yeah. can't really see. Yeah. So like l- look at our normal lymph, right? Not a lot of cytoplasm, but it's a normal, not a lot of cytoplasm. Right. Um that is extreme. It almost looks like a smudge, to be honest with you. If I didn't know better, it but, does. It it almost looks like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I blast off with that one. And I think folks are just going to have to keep in mind that when you're looking at cells like that, you just have to really look at your fine tune. Yeah, definitely. Play with that fine adjustment. Yeah. So I again, uh, blast, blast. Yep. The that hole punch sort of um what is it hodgkins i forgot oh uh the starry night um yes it's not hodgkins it's um burkitts oh burkitts yeah thank you uh, yeah. yeah that's but, but lymphoma like uh sort of um yeah sort of feature but yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a Burkitt's. It doesn't have any of the other characteristics of Burkitt's, but yeah, that kind of hole punch through, even through the nucleus, yeah, that's more of a a Burkitt's sort of characteristic. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, it's so hard to to know where the, like, are we in a good area? Are we almost, where are we in the the slide here? Because there's just no red cells. Yeah, it's really tricky. Um, yeah, because it's like sort of feels like you get in the thick area with that lymph that's in the frame, but like, yeah, there's another blast. Yeah, that. It's a nice looking cell, to be honest. It's a nice looking cell. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can't really see a nucleoli. Right. It almost looks like it's clovered. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yep. you know it's not normal, but like the cell's not big. It's not really super blasty looking it's it's kind of weird yeah yeah and kind of weird is probably a good way to describe lymphoblasts in general yeah they usually I, have their own kind of weird features weird they're not huge oh, wow. they're still relatively small in comparison yep especially compared to like a myeloblast significantly larger so yeah interesting fields um off to the right might be a normal lymph kind of hard for me to make out i think it is it's just it looks dark and squished a little dark and squished exactly yeah 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 but uh i probably go blast on another cell yeah and this one actually has a little bit more cytoplasm you can actually see it (laughs) congratulations (laughs) (laughs) Another nice looking one. Another oh beautiful. Yeah. Very, very pretty chromatin pattern. Um it just feels really ir- irregular, you know, mm-hmm. like uh yeah. Well, and I think the other thing too, that when especially with students, they think they have to be able to look at everything and identify exactly what it is when they graduate. And really, if they can see this and then be able to say that's not normal and bring it to a more experienced person that is really the key to recognize even though it's not huge it's not blasty it's still abnormal that's really the one of the most important things yeah it, it's a good point to make and it kind of i think when we teach most programs mlt or mls otherwise teach up here yeah. but the competency level is usually somewhere around here entry level competency i guess i should be more specific it's usually somewhere around here um so hopefully <laughs> We <laughs> we have that little bit of wiggle room, but 
but you're right it's really about just bringing this to the to the right people sometimes to make the hard call um always be very vigilant with thrombocytopenia anemia um beautiful nice blast this one's nice because look at the irregular contours mm -hmm. yep of that nucleus very bumpy yeah um we have some of these indents we've seen in other cells and it looks like there's some nucleoli in the in this cell that or am i seeing things it looks like on the You mean like right here? Yeah, I was seeing something on the left hand side. It might be just uh might be just me. I think it's just chromatin. Mm. Looks like a normal lymph. A normal lymph, but you can see the nucleoli. Yeah. Yep. But it's still a normal lymph. Yeah, I, I I'm not terribly worried. The 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 blasts sort of stand out in this patient a little bit, at least to my eye. I feel like the, um, sometimes it will be really tricky to uh, discern um, the lymphoblasts from the regular limbs. But well, let me back. See lymphoblast. So, <laughs> but you can see how someone new or inexperienced might look at that and be like limp that's what i immediately cringe to myself inside because i acted like that this was easy and this one's like a harder call this one is me. yeah like, yeah mm -hmm. um but i think the point still stands though and this is where I, people should i get that a lot of your training is like you need to be careful you can hurt someone and all that but this there's, there's a lot of slack here because if you counted this as a lymph and you counted the previous what six, seven, eight percent black, like you you did your job, like you found the malignant cells already. Um we get into and techs are guilty of this. I'm probably guilty of this. You get into these kind of um I don't want to say it's semantics, but it's just like whether this is a blast or not, it doesn't actually matter all that much to the big picture. As long as you've identified the other cells as blasts. Exactly. Yes. Or as abnormal. Yes. Yes. In a vacuum, this cell alone would be challenging. Yes. The other thing that people need to keep in mind is that let like the rest of the slide tell you yeah. what its peers are, because yeah. just looking at the other cells tells us, well, this is clearly the same thing as the other cells, even though it's a little bit smaller. Yep. It's very true it's got that scanty cytoplasm it's not like a big indent but we see that little uh that little fold yeah. there right there uh, yep so this one's subtle but it's clear yes so, yeah <laughs> yeah again yep. yeah same thing yep probably a tricky cell uh but you know with experience it gets easier yeah and like people might get worried about this one because of the shagginess but this is just probably a lymph to me um yeah yep <laughs> hope yeah, it's not terribly frustrating but i mean the other thing to keep in mind too is you're already calling blasts on this slide the chances of having blasts and hairy cell at the same time are like point <laughs> zero 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 one percent you know it's really true. It's like getting struck by lightning twice in the same day, sort of, sort of deal. Um, yeah, agreed. <clears throat> so there's a good number of normal limbs here. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, and then those. Yeah, it might be somewhere around 20%. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So good fields, right? Yeah. And I think a lot of the scanty cytoplasm has been a big signal for us, hasn't yeah. it? Um, so it looks yeah, like it... all of the normal -ish looking limbs have yeah. had a lot of cytoplasm, even if it's hairy looking or, you know, kind of wavy, but they've had way more cytoplasm than these guys mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. 
and then the the nuclear contour so if your eyes if you trace the lines around the nucleus of this normal lymph that centerish field with the malignant cell up in the top you can see um the contrast between yep. the two. and then for red cells really i i think um maybe teardrops yeah I don't, I don't think there was enough schistocytes to call yeah maybe not but there uh, definitely was a couple of schistocytes hanging around yes and uh you know red cell morph i don't think is going to really change much about the yeah. clinical picture so it's just a record but yeah 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 and platelets i've seen a couple but not a ton so this is probably a very very low platelet yeah so very anemic, very um, thrombocytopenic. <laughs> which is red flags, right? That yeah. should perk up your ears and pay close attention. Yeah, and it's not so important whether there's microcytosis or macrocytosis present because the anemia that's associated with the leukemia is normal chronic normocytic. So if there's a concurrent microcytic anemia, the microcytosis isn't related. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, just... Just another ALL here with a different presentation of what the lymphoblasts look like. And there's a lesson to be learned here that there's no one morphology for cancer cells generally, right? And yeah. I think lymphocytes tend to have the most kind of presentations. They do a lot of different weird stuff, but yeah. yeah. So just another ALL. <laughs> well, I think that's all we have for just another ALL. So yeah. thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks for your time.